So some years back, having children, I had the, uh, the opportunity of all well, the kids want everything, right? So uh, a Wii system we purchased all going back five, six years ago. Uh, I'm diagnosed about eight years ago. Um, in having that Wii system, they came out with a balance board and a Wii Fit, um, which really, really speaks to uh, people with have issues with balance or strength or flexibility because it's a biofeedback in a way. It gives you an, it gives you uh, a regimen and it really speaks to you. And I've been using it for on and off for the last five years uh, as an adjunct to just being generally active. Uh, I think this is a very important study. The Italian researcher looked at the Wii Fit uh, for balance training in MS patients. Um, and it showed that it was quite measurable, the effects on uh, certain parameters, and not only on physical parameters and training, as well as their balance, but it also showed that it affects on uh, the brain specifically. the brain can change in response to this training. And what was nice about this study was that after 12 weeks of training, they showed specific changes in certain parts of the brain, in the white matter tracks. And what they also found was once the training was discontinued, these findings were no longer there, proving that the findings were related to the training. The WE training as far as dealing with my MS symptoms, it gives me the opportunity to maintain my balance, gives me an opportunity to improve it with real data, with real information, and real progress, because it does, it, does it does collect data on you, and it does collect your BMI, your weight, it collects um, data on your balance, your performance with various tasks. There's a lot of tasks built into the system, and they're fun tasks too, and they're tasks, you know, there's skiing options, there's, there's all kinds of other uh, functional things that you could uh, get this feedback on. And it's subtle shifts in body weight, um, controlling movements and such. And you get ratings on these things and you get, uh, you know, you, you, you get positive feedback on this. So it's a very motivating tool to use. We often see in MS patients that their balance is affected for numerous reasons. Some of it is because the balance centers in the brain are affected and some of it is because patients have weakness or sensory changes. But what this study showed is that training has an important effect on brain centers, on white matter tracks, and it affects their, their quality of life. Because when patients have balance issues, they're prone to falls, they're prone to be less active, um, sometimes they fear certain activities. So if we can improve their balance, we improve their quality of life. Um, in my opinion, I think that study is a very important one. I've always told my patients that exercise is important. And there have really been very few studies looking at the impact of exercise on the brain physiology. And this actually improves how imperative it is. Because it's not just the known effects of exercise being cardiovascular health, being uh, the effects on mood. Um, there's so many effects of exercise that we're aware of, but this really proves that there are um, changes in the brain that occur, and they occur only with ongoing exercise. And it is so easy for patients to come into a doctor's office and ask for a medication, but it really encourages people to do this other piece, which I think is equally important.